Vice nominee is present, government officials present, my colleagues from today's announcement, Mr. Peter Ndegwa, CEO of Safaricom, Paul Russo, Group CEO of KCB Bank, members of the press present, all invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for attending today's briefing. Today marks an important day in Kenya's digital lending space as we, as we seek to enable more Kenyans to access affordable credit and promote financial inclusion. Let me start by giving a bit of context and background. The digital lending space has come a long way since it was introduced in Kenya in 2012 with the advent of Mshwari, a partnership driven by Safaricom and NCBA. The partnership sought to extend the MPESA value proposition beyond payments to offer mobile-centric savings and loans propositions to mobile money users. This was the world's first, offering a cash flow smoothening solution to many households who otherwise were resorting to informal lenders whenever there was a financial need or shock. While many of us first and foremost think of Mshwari as a lending product, it is perhaps even more critical to recognize that the product has bridged a gap in financial inclusion, allowing over 15 million customers throughout, throughout the years to build a savings culture. And Your Excellency, I know you have talked a lot about developing a savings culture. Today we are honored that these customers have entrusted us with over 35 billion shillings in savings, small, small savings, Your Excellency, through Mshwari. These savings have enabled these customers to unlock lending facilities to fulfill longer-term needs for their businesses and indeed their personal lives. In 2019, Safaricom, NCBA, and KCB came together to introduce another first, Fuliza, an overdraft solution linked to a customer's mobile money wallet. At its core, Fuliza was intended to serve as a source of credit to help the average Kenyan quickly and easily meet emergency needs at the till and beyond. This was a complementary offering to Mshwari and to KCB M-Pesa. Since its launch, over 28 million customers across the country have opted into Fuliza, and indeed, the year-on-year -year growth in credit disbursements is a testament that Kenyans see value in this offering. During the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic, we saw a surge in the number of customers accessing Fuliza on a daily basis as it revealed a much needed tool to smoothen household incomes at a time of great financial need. As we emerged from the pandemic, we, in partnership with Safaricom and KCB, began to look at the customer behavior on Fuliza to assess if it was serving its intended purpose. From the data that we have looked at, Your Excellency, it is clear that the original intent for Fuliza to be a short-term facility for four to seven days has evolved. Many customer and PESA wallets are now remaining of a drone for 14 to 19 days on average. This was not the intention of Fuliza, as it embeds the wrong credit behavior and increases the cost of credit, which is a big concern uh, for us and for government. And this is what we seek to address today. As a lender, we strongly believe that we have a responsibility to ensure that our products are well understood by our customers, are being utilized appropriately, and that we continue to make adjustments along the way to ensure the long-term sustainability of these propositions. To this end, today we'll be announcing changes to the Fuliza proposition with the goal of amending the features of the product back to its intended purpose, emergency short-term credit. With the right use of Fuliza, customers will see a benefit in their cost of credit and borrowing experience. And more importantly, hopefully, Your Excellency, we'll no longer hear that very common phrase, Tuma Kwahi Namba Ingine. Further, we are aware that there is a pervasive negative narrative around CRBs, Your Excellency, and in particular the relationship between digital credit providers and the CRB. CRBs in Kenya have continued to develop and mature as an important credit information sharing market infrastructure. Over our 10-year history as an industry, we have shared both positive and negative information on 18 million customers. Of these, more than 75% are 
are listed as having positive credit histories. The positive listing has enabled them to access increased credit facilities across a variety of financing institutions and unlock their ability to pursue their aspirations. We do not wish, however, Your Excellency, to leave the customers with negative history behind, and indeed, they should not be blacklisted. Today, we wish to express We wish to express our intention to work with our partners and other industry stakeholders and indeed with your government to develop a collaborative mechanism to repair the credit histories, the credit histories of these customers. The specific mechanisms for the credit repair and indeed access to credit will be communicated before 1st of November, Your Excellency. <laughs> our purpose as NCBA is to inspire greatness. Our business philosophy appreciates that our financial institutions, our financial institution license is entrusted to us by the CBK, and thank you, Governor, on behalf of the community we serve. Essentially, it is a social license with the communities that we belong to as corporate citizens to conduct a role of financial intermediation for the benefit of society. The announcements that we'll be making today are informed by listening to our customers who have seen great utility and digital credit to enable them to respond to opportunity, manage shocks, and make investments as the key agent in the growth of our economies. Your Excellency, we have heard the message from those who sent you. Thank you very much.